Oh, the beautiful music. Hello and welcome back, or should I say, hola y bienvenido. I'm Maddie Monfort at the KCET studios in Burbank, and joining me are fellow Cuban-Americans, Jose Enrique Pardo, the writer, producer, and director of Cuba American, and the composer of the film, Carlos Jose Alvarez. Welcome. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. The music is the emotional heartbeat of this film. Tell me, how did you get involved in this? The film was brought to my attention that Jose was making it and I immediately contacted him and we sat down at the table and it was, um, it was the film that I've been hoping someone would make about our parents' story. And Why? Well, I've heard the story my whole life, you know, and, and, and I know and I've always had the gratitude to have had the life that I have because of the sacrifices they made. Mm -hmm. But I knew that working on something like this would connect me to it in a way that I've never been connected to it. So that's that was really, the I wanted to dive into it and honor, I mean, I'm a composer and I, I wanted to honor their sacrifices and what they went through with my talents and my gifts. You are a pianist. How did you go about it? Did you watch the film and then and then compose, or were you doing it while it was happening? How, how, do, how does a composer do this? Well, it was a really collaborative process with my brother and Jose, and we kind of built this thing together. And it's a, a process that I'll probably never get to do again. But I got to write the music as they were editing, and we kind of figured out what we needed to support and, and how we needed to tell the story and the transitional moments. and. And I'm also a percussionist, and so the percussion was going to be a very important part of the, the film score because that's that's one of the folkloric entities of Cuban music. It's very mm -hmm. strong, and so we talked about it early on, and we really wanted to make it authentic and 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 celebrate the folkloric uh, heritage, the deep heritage of Cuba, and to do something very American and incorporate, you know, a cinematic score. And uh, it was for me, it was. It's a, a dream because I got to take the folkloric music of Cuba, which I grew up playing and listening to, and combine it with my orchestral background and fuse the two and, to, and, and combine the two worlds. It is, it is truly magnificent. It really is the emotional heartbeat. You cry listening to some of these songs. Um, Jose, how, how did you come up with your crew? I know it was a limited budget that you had. Who, who, who was involved in putting this together? Well, it was, it was a family affair because the editor of the film is Victor P. Alvarez, his cousin's brother. Mm -hmm. and In typical he, Cuban fashion, he, yeah. everyone's involved, right? And he and I worked, you know, very closely together to craft a film in the editing room uh, for over a year. Everybody kind of gave of their time. They, 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 you know, they, they just put in, it was a whole labor of love from everyone involved, right. not just from me. Carlos, I just want to make, do a little shout out to your grandmother because if you just watch the credits to this beautiful film, your grandmother is singing the song? Yeah, she's 86 years old and she wrote a lament to Cuba 30 years ago and it was the perfect end title song for the film and we spoke about it and we brought her in and she got to record her music and live her dream. At 86 years old, am I right? 86. 